If you've ever caught an episode of Bad Men, Game of Thrones, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, The Office, Swamp People, or 30 Rock, you know that relationships are tested the most when put under pressure. And there's no pressure quite like working with someone on a project, whether in an organization, a class, or at work. It's a high-stakes world that seems like it's either going to be a complete pass or utter failure, where one person has to take the brunt of the work while the other languishes anchored behind or there's a perceived risk or reception of a promotion or benefit for doing good work. It's all brimstone for conflict. Instead of avoiding conflict, uh. there are ways to approach conflict that minimizes the awkwardness before it begins, and if it has begun, to de-escalate the situation. Number one, talk with the other person. It should come as no surprise that simply engaging in a conversation or opening up the dialogue can cut through the tension. Ask the person what works for them, their ideas, and if they disagree at all. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Number two, identify those points of disagreement. Summarize those. Talk about where the line of disagreement comes and if there can be a compromise made. Don't get hung up too much on disagreement unless it is against the project or will completely derail the finished product. Hmm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. But I think we have to go on a retreat anyway. Number three, develop a plan for the conflict. Start with the most important conflict and work your way down. This may take up more time, but will be important in the success of your overall project. If you were a chick, who's the one guy you would sleep with? John, John Samos. Samos. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup. Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup. Number four, understand the relationship. If you're having a conflict with a supervisor, schedule a time to talk and get to know them a little better. That'll give you the chance to learn a little bit more about their thought process and them as a person. If they're your peer, is there someone else around that knows this person? They could be a resource to help you develop a better relationship with the person you're working with. And finally, if you're a supervisor and you're having trouble with someone you supervise, set a meeting and be upfront with them. Be the leader and resolve the conflict before it gets too vile. Mr. Powers, you'll notice that all of the sharks have laser beams attached to their heads. I figure every creature deserves a warm meal. <clears throat> Dr. Evil, it's about the sharks. When you were frozen, they were put on the endangered species list. We tried to get some, but it would have taken months to clear up the red tape. You know, I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Now, evidently, my cycloptic colleague informs me that that can't be done. Uh, can you remind me what I pay you people for? Honestly, throw me a bone here. What do we have? Sea bass. Right. They are mutated sea bass. Really? Are they ill-tempered? Absolutely. Well, that's a start. You know. Number five, W-I-I-F-M factor. This is the what's in it for me factor. If you know what the other person wants or is looking for, that's vital to understand their motivation in doing a project. If you find what the other person is motivated about and it meshes with yours, your aims can be the same. Considering these things and the benefit of maintaining a professional relationship can help set the project back on course. However, feel free to ask for outside influence if necessary. It is always recommended to treat the other person with respect and see what you receive in return. Well, for all of us here at Channel 4 News, I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. And thanks for stopping by. But mainly, stay classy. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy. Ron Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs>